Not previously thought in this video uh, video i'll be talking about um the more concept a sample of iron failings had partly lashed and lasted upon being left under damp conditions 3.5 grams of the iron failings were added to 50 cubic centimeters of aqueous copper to sulfate all the copper in the copper to sulfate were displaced according to the equation below all right all right, and a unique equation for the above equation. First, we need to take into, into consideration less. Um, we have this uh, equation, right, which is here. Which is copper to sulfate being added to iron, forming copper and iron sulfate. So, I'll just reduce this diagram a bit so that I can answer this question properly. So, we need to write this equation as ions. So, we know that copper 2 sulfate has got copper with 2. It, has also, it has also has sulfate with 2 there. Now, this is aqueous and this is also aqueous. Being added to iron, we know iron is a solid, so nothing happens to it. Copper is also a solid, so nothing happens to it. Plus, iron is an aqueous, so we only deal with the aqueous elements. So we have sulfate here. This is aqueous. This is aqueous. Let's cancel what is the same. So... We have sulfate here and sulfate there. That one can come out. What, are, what do we remain with? We remain with it. copper 2 aqueous plus iron as a solid forming copper as a solid and iron as an ion. So that is an ionic equation for this reaction. Let's go to question uh, B. From here we know that um, if neither the iron nor the copper sulfate was in excess, calculate the mass of iron which was present in the iron film. We know that one more of iron contains 64 grams of copper, right? What of 3.2 grams? How many? So when you cross multiply, number of moles will be? 3.5 over 64 to give you an approximate of 0 0.05 moles. Now, um, how do we find now the mass of iron? It's number of moles times molar mass. Number of moles is 0 0.5, 0 0.5, then molar mass is 56. So you multiply by 56 should give you. give you 2.8 grams of iron now what they want is the iron the mass of iron which is was present in the iron filling now remember that the iron fillings had had uh 3.5 grams which were added now to aqueous copper to sulfate so we need to remove this from the 3.5 so 3.5 minus 2.8 but to give you 0 0.7 grams of iron so that's how we're supposed to work it out two says the percentage by mass of of, of rust in the iron filling you know the percentage by mass is equal to the mass present so we know that the percentage by mass uh, the mass of iron present in the iron fillings is 0 0.7 grams and the total mass is 3.5 grams we multiply by 100 that is going to give us 20% of iron. So thank you so much for watching. I'm PVS the Tutor. I'll see you in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe.